guys and welcome back to easy nails today i have a watch me work acrylic nail set this is my first time trying out kiera sky powders i was really really impressed they were super creamy and i really enjoyed that they stayed in place until you patted them into place they are not runny they're really really easy to use and beginner friendly i highly highly recommend them i was really really impressed um unfortunately i did not take a final picture of these um before i took them off i just completely forgot so i do not have a final picture of them but you guys will be able to see me working and how I apply the acrylic and I was really really proud of this application um, I thought it was really really smooth and um, the different thing that I did in this application is I placed down the bead and then I waited a little bit longer until I molded it into place I find that this really really helps um, I tend to want to go in right away and mold the bead but if you just let it sit there for like five to ten seconds and then go in first of all and smooth out the front of the bead and then I like to go in from side to side bringing the bead towards the center and then patting the sides of the bead first not pulling patting the sides of the beads um, and slowly bringing it up and then lastly going in with the center part I found that this helped a lot again this is my first time trying Kiera Sky products um, these are the no C curve extra long tips to prep your nails. I would suggest pushing back your cuticles, cleaning your nails with um, isopropyl alcohol and acetone. And then I would recommend going in with a fine sanding band to remove that surface shine. Um, and then going in again with isopropyl alcohol and um, acetone this takes out oils and dirt in your nails and helps with adhesion and prevents any bacteria and then after that I would go in with your primer I am getting in a new primer from light elegance really soon but the one that I use here is from NSI and you want a really really small amount of that on your nail area make sure you are not touching your skin I glued these tips on with the KDS nail glue um, this is the natural acrylic from Kiara Sky, and I always like to apply a clear or a natural colored acrylic to the nails before I start any application. I do this, number one, it helps prevent lifting, and also it gives you something to file back to when you are doing an infill or a fill of the nails, so that way you can just file down to this that way you know you're not touching your natural nail there's no potential damage and yeah it's a really easy way to do infills i highly recommend doing this i am using the koopa odorless monomer and this brush i believe this is a size 12 brush um from nailed it by lucy i just am using this brush to um apply the clear base and then after i do that i go in with my size 20 flex brush to continue the acrylic application again these are all kiara sky powders i was super super impressed and i am using them with the koopa odorless monomer i added a little bit of acetone in there as well i find that this just helps it set perfectly it doesn't run and it is absolutely wonderful um yeah so i did this to all my nails and then i'm gonna go in with the acrylic application with the larger brush and i did have a red color from kiara sky a gold color and um this is the only color that i had that wasn't from kiara sky this is valentino this is their soft white here i'm getting my flex brush ready it is important to like burp your brush they call it you tilt the total of the bristles like i'm doing here just to get out any air bubbles and make sure your brush is nice and clean before you do your application super super important 
I'm using a red color from Kiara Sky and a gold glitter as well as a nude. So I highly, highly recommend their products. Um, again, they I will enjoy them because they stayed in place until you were ready to work with them. They weren't runny, and I really, really love that. Um, here I'm going in with the white. This is a soft white from Valentino. Now what I also like to do, a tip and trick, is I hold the brush um, upside down with the bead in it until I see that it is completely shiny. And then I apply it onto the nail. And then here I'm waiting that 5 to 10 seconds before I even touch the product. Uh, this helped so much, you guys, with application. And then what I did is I just tucked in the sides. I started at the sides first, tucked in the sides towards the center. And then I um, patted this down and I only swiped it at the end. I think that this helps so, so much with your application. I highly recommend doing this. Um, it really helped me. My application was super smooth. I think this is one of the best ones I've ever done. So I highly recommend that. Just waiting that five to 10 seconds when you place your bead before you start patting it. And then I like to flatten out the top first, the top part of the bead, the bead towards your nail area. And then I tuck in the sides. I work the sides, um, tucking them in towards the center, um, tucking them in towards the center and pulling them, patting and pulling them towards the tip of the nail. And then after I do that, I work on the middle of the nail. And then if I need to add a little bit more, I just take a small amount, put it where I need to add the opacity. And then that's where I stroke it out. This is the first Kiara Sky powder. Super, super excited. Absolutely love this. The only thing that I made a mistake on here is you have to make sure with ombres that you are swiping like super, super light, light, light pressure and only the back of the bead because otherwise like you won't get that ombre effect. The whole nail will look kind of nude. So you want to make sure you let want to let this um set again see here how i worked with the front of the bead first i let it set and then i'm swiping just the back end of the bead to get a really really easy ombre um super super easy to do just be careful you're super super light-handed with this i mean yeah i mean look at how this powder just sat there and waited for me to work with it this is all in real time i thought you guys would enjoy a real time video um, yeah, thank you to everybody who is subscribed. I really, really appreciate you. I am having my 1K giveaway um, when I reach 1K, so make sure you are subscribed for that and just share my channel on any social media that you would like. Um, the faster we get there, the faster I can give away the giveaway. So you guys see here how I am pulling it just to get that transition of the ombre that I would like and I'm moving on to adding a little bit more white I felt like the nude kind of took over the white so you can totally do this I place the white in the middle of the nail and then I'm feathering the front first and then I'm going to feather the back towards the nude color so super, super easy to do. And again, you guys can see how beautiful these Kiara Sky products are working. I really, really enjoyed using them. They were not runny. And I am using odorless monomers. So sometimes some acrylics can be kind of funky. But these ones worked really, really great. So I highly, highly recommend them. So this nail here is a French nail. I place my bead down and then I'm pulling up those sides to a point to get that French shape. Um, I'm patting the back of the acrylic into the back of the nail, making sure to tuck it in but not to touch the cuticle area. And then um, I am again going in, tucking in those sides and 
I will file this. I didn't do it on camera, but I do file this into shape before I apply the red color that is gonna go on the tip. So here's this beautiful red color again. It is from Kiara Sky. And I am just smushing my brush on the bottom of that dish, making sure there are no air bubbles. And I am preparing the bead here. I'm tapping three times and holding it for a few seconds in the powder, placing the bead on the nail vertically, and then wiping off my brush. And you guys are gonna see here how I wait five to 10 seconds. I am first of all patting the front of the bead down to make sure that that is flat. And then I'm tucking in the sides of the acrylic and patting it with my brush towards the tip of the nail. I find that this is a super, super um, easy and good way to make your application smoother by tucking in the sides first. You guys see I'm tucking in the sides and patting it slowly towards the tip. This just takes a lot of patience, but it saves in filing time a ton so just bringing in the sides towards the center, patting as you go, pulling the sides towards the center and patting towards the tip. And then this helps the acrylic set and you will get a really, really smooth application. Um, I highly recommend this method. And then once you're almost at the tip, that's when you can start swiping from the beginning of the bead towards the end and you will get a really really smooth application um highly highly recommend this again this is kiara sky powder and if you guys see how it didn't move in place didn't move at all um stayed in place until i was ready to work with it so i highly highly recommend it um and again red is one of the hardest colors to work with and i found this one was super super forgiving and beginner friendly so i highly highly recommend it here i'm going in with the cuticle bead, I moved to my size 12 brush just to get around that cuticle area. So I pick up a bead and then I'm gonna place it towards the cuticle, not touching. And I see how it just stays in place for me. I wait a few seconds before I go in and I'm literally pushing the acrylic right above the cuticle area, not touching at all. If you touch, you will get lifting. So I'm just pushing it towards the cuticle. And then first of all, I'm swiping down the sides and then the middle. So really, really easy way to do it. Again, I love my application on this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I thought it was really, really good. This is all in real time. Again, I'm using the Kiara Sky powders and the Koopa odorless monomer mixed in with a little bit of acetone so I really really enjoyed these nails and unfortunately I did not manage to get a picture of them it just slipped my mind before I took them off so I will not have a picture of these I'm so so sorry but they came out really 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 nice um I really enjoyed the application the powders everything just worked really well with this set so yeah, we are gonna continue on here. The pinky nail is gonna be a glitter gold color and the first finger is gonna have that red around the smile line.
That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you are subscribed and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.